So here we have this. We learned acid spores with my little nut. And it makes them bleed. Rado is now bleeding. Like, and they just get hurt because they're literally bleeding out. This is so savage. What up, nerds, and welcome to Evo Creo. Evo Creo is a monster collection and battling game, much like Pokemon. This actually came up in my game recommendations, and I thought I just needed to try it out. And I want to do a series on just trying out different like Pokemon-like games. So we'll start with this one. Um, let me just tell you a little bit about it. Evo Creo takes place in the world of Zenith. A world populated with monsters called Creos. You find out that your father, a legendary evoker, has been missing for days after investigating an organization called Shadow Hive. You travel the world looking for clues on the whereabouts of your father while also trying to live up to his legacy. Hello, welcome to Evo Creo. A world filled with monsters called Creo awaits you. Before you start your journey, we have some questions we need to ask you. Are you a boy or a girl? We're choosing the girl. What is your name? Obviously, Hyuna. So far, I'm really liking the style of this game. Very nostalgic. So I'm already impressed. <laughs> yes, I'm sure this is my name. Your brother will follow you on your adventure. What is their name? We are going to choose Yusa. Um, and just so you know, well, excellent. You are ready to travel through the land of Zenith and take on challenges. Good luck. The monster inhabitants Creo have grown alongside man in this world. Early Creo were used for farming, hunting, sports, and even pets. Those that could link to and control the actions of the Creo were called evokers. When the Creo wars encompassed the continent in the early history of man, evokers from every region fought for control through they were few, few in number. The war lasted for several decades and took countless lives. When it subsided, the tension between the regions was still high. To control their, to control their aggression and prevent an outbreak from occurring again, the region also held a tournament of games. Thus the sport of Rio Creo was born. Wow, that was a lot. <laughs> you, Hyuna, where have you been? Right here, obviously. Father has been missing for a few days now, and you're loafing around. Well, he can take care of himself, don't you think? I think he can. Lanos has some new information and wants to see us. Okay. I'm glad both of you are here. That's nice, so am I. Hyuna, as you know, your father and I are old friends. He had planned a meeting this morning, but he never made it. Oh, well, that's sad. I went to his office and it looked like he left in a hurry. Uh-huh. While in his office, I found some logos that I believe belong to a group known as Shadow Hive. Logo is not logos. <laughs> I worried something has happened to him. I know this is a lot to take in. I would encourage you not to do anything rash, but I know you take on after you father. Of course I do. <laughs> I live on the edge, don't you know? Before you do anything, I like... I think go, Golgo by the farm wanted some help. Golgo. That's an interesting name. Okay, let's try and find this farm. I'm gonna guess I'm gonna follow this arrow that I have. Um... But now we're in the trees. Uh. There's no path. Maybe I need to keep going down? There's no way to get over. What? Uh. Maybe I don't follow this arrow? Okay, yeah, so. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see if I can get up there this way. Ah. Why did it tell me to go over in the first place and not just down if it wants me to follow the arrow? Like, wouldn't that make sense? Oh, this must be the farm. Hey, Hayuna, you're usually around, but you but you didn't show up last week. Uh, I guess I was loafing around that long. 
I was just taking these little guys out for some fresh air, but they are a handful. <laughs> hey, maybe you can help me. Why don't you take one of these fellas off my hands for a while? Sure. You got away with these Creo. I guess I do. <laughs> Which one's your favorite? Go ahead and talk to the Creo you like the most. Okay, let's get to know him. Rebos is a powerful Creo that dominates the battlefield. Uh, who else do we got? Oh, come on. There we go. Furen is a balanced Creo that can tackle any situation with ease all. Oh, How cute. Oh, definitely this one. Both intelligent and agile, Deor can be difficult to take down. We are definitely choosing Deor. <laughs> Had an inkling that'd be the one. I'm pretty sure you would have said that with any of the choices. He really seems to like you. Oh, I'm late for a meeting with Lanos. I'm sorry. Okay, that's nice. Can we rename our Creo? Can I talk to it? Okay, apparently I can't talk to it. Uh, there's nothing in there, so... I guess we go back to Lanos. And hopefully this arrow leads us in the right freaking direction. And of course, it's still... Uh, Maybe it's this big building that's over here. Lano Soft. There we go. This arrow thing needs to really... be better. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. I see you've made a friend. You take on after your father. Well, I assume I would. He was a natural evoker. He even became an evoking master by beating the competition at the Coliseum. Those were the days. Don't be so glum, Lanos. Cheer up, Hyuna. Here has the potential to be even greater than him. Agreed, if you are going to become an invoker and try to save your father, then you are going to need some help. Give me your tablet for a second. Okay, I just uploaded some apps that our company has designed to keep evokers at the top of their game. Be sure to check them out when you get it. Little fella, you take care of yourself. Uh, Y'all be careful out there. It's been great talking with you as usual, Lanos, but I have to get back to work. See you later. I you know, the world is filled with evokers trying to prove their worth. Your strength should come from your Creo and theirs from you. I'm sorry I cannot join you on your journey, but I will help you whenever and however I can. On your journey, see if you can find other farmers in the world. Okay. They may be able to help you along your way. Also, please see your mother before you leave. We don't want her to worry. Uh, maybe I do want her to, <laughs> to worry. <laughs> okay, so we got a bag and the Creo. I don't see anything to be able to name, rename the Creo. I might have to look that up and figure that out. Yeah, there's no button. So maybe you can't, although with everything else too that you can do in this game, I would assume you could. Because so far, this has been in front of Pokemon for a while, because for one, you can see Creo in the overworld that when I looked it up. Your Creo is following behind you, which is something that they haven't had in the main series game for quite some time until... Sword and Shield came out, and you can only do that in the one expansion pack so far, and that's pretty sad. And yet here this one is, and the Creo will just follow you all around. So, already ahead of its time. <laughs> okay, no, I do not want to go back to the menu. I guess we'll keep on going, and I'll read up later on how you can rename your Creo, because I'm sure we have to. Uh, let's just looking around here to see if there's anything else I can get, and it doesn't look like I can see anything else, so we'll just go ahead and leave. Should we talk to some people? Lanos is great. He helped me get started to become an evoker. Oh, well, that's not very interesting, so we're just gonna leave. 
So now we need to go talk to our mum. And then make our way to the next town, I'm guessing. Who are you? Dr. Finity. Hey, Hyuna. My name is Dr. Finity. I heard you just became an evoker from Lanos. I rep represent a research firm in Fortuna City that specializes in Creo data acquisition and evoker. Blah. <laughs> you developed a map app that will help you keep track of where you are. Let me see your tablet. Great. Maps are great. Nice. You can now look at the map of Zenith and keep track of where you've been and where you need to go. Good luck on your journey. Well, fantastic. Thank you, mysterious man. Okay, so we'll keep going up. Old Law Town. Oh, well, there's Jisa, I'm guessing. Just like your father, always dashing off on your adventures. He wouldn't approve, but if no one is going to help him, it's up to us. Okay. He's an evoker, but he wouldn't approve of me being an evoker? What? <laughs> Where all he has, take this. Oh, thanks. That's a lot. And take these. Five links. They were your father's. They will do you more good than him. Oh, <laughs> also visit the shop on the upper right corner of the screen. There are some helpful items that can help you on your journey. Good luck and stay safe. Thanks. Who are you? Yep, I was right. You said you're off to find father, hmm? I guess we'll go inside. You'll need your Creo at full strength. Okay, so she'll heal us just like in normal games. Normal games. <laughs> in the other Pokemon games. Okay, let's go upstairs. And we're headed to our room. Not bad, not bad. There's nothing here. It looks like that I can interact with though why do i still have boxes do we just move in or am i just that lazy that i never unpacked the rest of my stuff or what <laughs> or is my room kind of like a storage place too <laughs> you know there is a second evo creo that's coming out this year that i read up um supposed to be coming like if you get me out of this game, I'll pay you. What? <laughs> no way you're going to be able to keep up with my speed. Okay. Whatever, dude. But anyways, there's Evo Creo 2 that's supposed to be coming out, I think, in November or maybe the end of this month. Well, probably not the end of this month. We're almost at the end. So I'm thinking it's November if I read right. So... That's going to be interesting because already I'm liking this game. I really like the graphics and and so far the story seems pretty interesting too. Oh, look at it. It's cute. Ravine. Ravian? Ravian. I'm probably going to have a lot of problems trying to uh, pronounce these names. Okay, we'll probably need to catch this one, maybe. Mm. Well, we might just get the experience points. I don't know. We're just going to get experience points, I think. Of course it missed. Um, Let's go ahead and catch it, because... So, Lynx, basic tool used to catch Creo. This is a low catch rate. Okay, so this is how we catch him. Alright. Okay, so well, there's that. Um, I can't go up anymore, even though it's telling me to go up. But I can't. This stupid thing. Oh, it's cute! So I need it! It's so adorable! I wonder what these stars mean. Does it mean it, do stars mean it's more powerful or maybe rare? 
I'm gonna have to look that up. We're gonna try and catch this, because I need it in my life. I think we're gonna name our little deal Rudolph. Even though I can't really name it right now, because I can't figure out how to rename it, we're going to refer to him as Rudolph. Oh my gosh, we glitched out. <laughs> he's not there, where'd he go? But he's scratching me. Let's try to catch it again. Is that just what happens when the link breaks? Or did I just, just get a glitch? That's kind of funny though. Alright, we got the Rado. Okay. Now I'm wondering where I need to go. Do I have anything that'll bring him back to life? Rudolph back to life? Probably not. Um, what is this thing? Cepha drop. Okay. Um, I'm actually kind of lost because there's really nowhere else for me to go. Small crystal, a bed of a small amount of energy. Okay, so that's what we use to heal him. Ba -ba -ba -bum. So we'll heal Ravian. I'm gonna have to think of other names for the Korea that I just caught. Okay, so I need to go through the 50 acre woods, but how do I get to the freaking 50 acre woods? You know, I like how they can fly around in the overworld, but they don't actually, like, come and attack you. Kind of like in Pokemon, where if they see you, they're running up to you and make you come into the battle. But here, they're just flying around, minding their own business until you talk to them. So that's kind of nice that I can, you know, walk around and not be bothered by them. So it's kind of nice. Alright, we'll just get some experience points, but it doesn't look like where I was at, I can actually get out again. Okay, we're almost there. Oh no. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, yep, but there's nothing there, so we'll go back this way. There's nothing down here either. Okay, I'm gonna figure out a way to go, and then I will see you when I figure it out. So now we're back home. And it's still telling me to go up, but there's no way to go up from there. Uh, let's take a right. And what is this? Asensio stone? Spoony Kipper. His name is Spoony? Or is it supposed to be Spooky? It looks like Spoony. Like, what the hell kind of name is Spoony? Okay, so that definitely wasn't the way to go. Um, where the hell do I go? Where's those two weirdos? Uh, can't get through the gates. Okay, so I finally found out where to go. So we need to go down through the town and then take a right. And now we're on the right track. Ooh, something else. What the... Hey, is that yours? Well, it's just sitting on the ground. No, then you shouldn't be taking it. Now go away. Well, don't leave your shit just sitting there? Like, I'm just saying. Obviously, nobody wanted it. So, like, why do you just keep it there? Alright, we found our way, it looks like. Jacob Proctor, I'm about to head into the 50-acre woods, but I feel like I'm forgetting something. Links to capture Creo. Stuff drops to heal my Creo. Bota drops. Yep, that's everything. If you're going out there, you received a share. Sure. Blah, blah, blah. Good luck. Can't talk. Oh, look at all this stuff. Summon Creo story DLC. Oh, they got DLC too. Oh, man. Okay, so here we are. We finally found our way. Who are you? Hey, buddy. The name is Maestro. I'm in the process of researching about evokers and learning to become one. What? You just became an evoker? You and your Creo can get injured if you don't have the experience to fight higher level evo Creo battles. Okay. 
Let's battle and I'll give you a few tips if you can beat me. Sure. Whatever you feel like, buddy. Maestro is challenging you to an Eva Creo match. Oh. Rudolph versus Rudolph. Uh, no, I do not want to watch the advertisement while it calculates. Ridiculous. Okay. Looks like we're a little bit stronger. Almost there. Okay. Oh, we only had one Pokemon. Uh, push over. <laughs> You've got a great bond. Let me see your tablet. Okay. Uploaded a tutorial app. Oh, that would probably be nice for me to read. Latest information. Check it out frequently as I will be posting updates to the app as I learn more. Besides that, I can't wait to see you two battle. I'm registering for a tournament at the arena to determine who the best evoker in the region is. Maybe you should too anyway. See you later. Well, that is part of my job here. <laughs> Can't talk, have to work. Okay, citizen. Look at it, it all rattles. <laughs> Let's see, what did we get? Oh, it's fluffy. Baloo. Ballo. Kind of like saying blue, but I'm pretty sure it's just ballo. Or balu. We'll probably try to capture this thing too, just so I can catch all the Creo. <laughs> Oops, wrong thing. I wanted the bag. Uh, Link. Oh, I probably should have gotten a few more. But that's okay. Sorry for the yawning. Alright. Now we'll go over and see what this in this bag. Water Gamma. Okay. Um, I guess we'll go this way, see what we got. A trainer. Old the town is such a quiet town, but it produces some of the greatest evokers. Like me. Alright. Jasmine Tubler. Oh my god, what is that? Monocopod? I need it. I need to find this little guy, because that is cute. So we'll keep punching away here. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, can I find this guy where I'm at? I'm hoping so. Um, while we're battling away, I'm gonna look it up on the Creopedia. It looks, uh, it looks like I can, but it's an ultra rare, of course. The one that I'm really wanting is a freaking ultra rare. Um, let's see, what else does it say? It says it's the ones that you can see walking around. Looks like somebody was just resetting the... going in and out of it. Out of the forest. So maybe I'll try that later to see if I can find it. It's gonna suck though. But hey, what you gonna do? Alright, we defeated Jasmine. Looks like I'm not one of them. Oh, <laughs> sad. I mean, we all win some and lose some. Some of us just win a lot more. Okay, what you got, bro? Scara Sect. I wonder if I can find this guy in here. Probably not. Um... 
Looks like he's not part of the 50 Acre Woods, so he'll be later. He looks kind of cool and creepy at the same time. Okay, we're almost there. I want to see what the stars mean. Okay, so... It looks like the stars, higher stars should have, or usually have higher stats of an identical creo of the same species level that has a lower star level. So it just looks like it gets bigger stats. So I guess that's pretty cool. Just better stat moves, really. You can increase a star level when you prestige. You prestige once you get to level 100. It resets it to normal if it can be, and to level 5 with another star. Oh, okay. That just sounds like a lot. <laughs> really? Just to, like, get a star? So that's pretty interesting. That's an interesting thing to add on to this. Locked a new move squirt? That doesn't sound good at all. Yes. Wow. Okay, I'm in for one to see what new moves they can have. Kind of scared to see what other move names they have if they already have Squirt. <laughs> oh. Okay, so what is this? Earth Gemma. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run through here, get the Pokemon and battle the trainers, and I'll see you all when something happens. So here we have this. We learned Acid Spores with my little nut. And it makes them bleed. Rado is now bleeding, like, and they just get hurt because they're literally bleeding out. This is so savage. Ridiculous. <laughs> like, what in the world? So while roaming, I found this tablet that gives us a little bit of lore into the Zenith world. Year 2786 of the Second Alphite Era, what follows is the account of Kuya scribed in the Alphite King. Scribe to the Alphite King. Wow, these names are going to kill me. Powerful creatures roam the Alphite Kingdom. Our king desires a powerful kingdom. In this year, the Alphite King tamed the first of these powerful beasts, thus strengthening his kingdom. He calls the tamed creatures Creo. That's interesting. All right. There you are, Hyuna. Here I am. You didn't think I would let you go after father all by yourself, did you? Kind of. Oh, it looks like you have your own Creo. Let's see if you know how to use it. Um, of course I do. <laughs> Yusa is challenging you to an Eva Creo battle. Oh, Ella Cat, that's cute. I want one, and that is a lot of stars. You cheater. <laughs> so let's just beat this cat. I'm probably gonna have to look up what Creo is best to get what, just so I know. So I'm going to have to do a lot of reading so I can get a little bit better squirt. Oh my gosh, I still can't get over it. I should have healed. But that's okay. I think we can get through it. We'll send out a Rado, or Ravian. I read Rado down there. Oh, Peck didn't do a whole lot, did it? I probably just switched out, but that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. 
Uh, we are going to now send out the Rado. I don't know what to name this guy. I'm gonna have to think. Do I have anything that'll increase the Creo's affinity? Help certain Creo evolve? Okay. But is there anything that I can use to bring back? Probably not. Ugh. I think we can manage this. Yep, we did. We're good! Does he have something else? Nope. Not bad! I know. You jealous yet? <laughs> I need to get stronger. Okay. I mean, sure. Good luck out there. Thanks, you too, I guess. What does this guy have for me? Hey ho! <laughs> Hey ho! <laughs> I'm looking for the finest timber. Uh, yeah, I do. Plant a link. Oh, so he'll give us links for logs that we find. That's kind of interesting. Okay, I should have made it to the town. Yep, plant plant a village. Over here. You're here to register for arena tournament. If I win, I'm going to throw a huge party at plant a village and invite it. Okay. You'll come too, no? Well, sure. Shadowhive can't say I've heard of them. That's a first. So you're going to join the tournament then? Well, no worries. Better odds for me. Wish me luck. <laughs> you know, usually everybody has heard of the evil team in a place. So finding somebody like in here that even doesn't know what you're talking about, it's kind of odd. I mean, unless he is part of that team and he's just being like, oh, I don't know, so you don't know if he's part of the evil team, you know what I mean? Okay, shop, what is this? Oh! So the blue is a healing terminal. Ter terminal. Um, we can buy some stuff. Let's see, I have $700. We need some links so I can go find the Creo that I want. I almost said Pokemon there for a second. I was like, it's not quite that. <laughs> Uh, we definitely need some of these. So we'll get 10 of those. Uh, I just wanted to see what they were. Jeez. Okay, so we are going to explore this town a little more. Well, there's the barn I was told to find. Oh, look at all these guys. Oh, look at the dinosaur! <laughs> okay. Out we go. Um... Who are you? Hi there, I am Plante Village's Rad. Rad stands for Regional Arena Defender. He can be found in regions that have an arena and are known to be the toughest evokers. If you want to go to the Coliseum, then you will need to challenge. You can challenge me after you beat the local arena. Okay. I look forward to seeing you. Alright, so this must be the way to the arena. Yep, that's that. I don't think I'll do that yet. I need to level up my peeps. Ooh, something in, in a bag. Mahogany log. Okay. So, what's this? Another log. Okay. There's a lot of logs. I almost for a second thought that was a ship, and I was like, it's a ship? <laughs> Is that the Colosseum? That must be. So I think that's where I need to go later. But I think... I think I'm just going to end this part here, to be honest. Ooh, hold on, hold on. There's some more stuff, by the way. Okay, that must be the way out. What's down here? I wish I could travel over the water. Creo with the ability to swim can traverse. There are Creo sold at Creo Alley and Carbon City that swim. Okay. That's neat, I guess. <laughs> I want to know what this crystal is. Must have at least one Creo in the party with the ability to teleport to activate. Oh, teleportation stones. That's interesting. So that's how we get from one place to another. 
Okay, so I think I'm going to end this here. Um, while I'm away, I'm going to catch um, Creo. I am going to look for... Um, I'm going to look for the Moncopod. I think that's what its name is. Um, but I'm going to look for the Moncopod. Hopefully I can find him. And then I'm going to train all of my Creo up to at least level 10 before I go ahead and challenge the Colosseum. Because that's what I normally do anyway. Um, so I'll do all of that off game and then I'll come back when I am done with that. So thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again later. Bye bye <laughs>